Hello, YouTubers, friends, and compatriots. Who are your shows, Dustly Stars, Peasants, Vassals, Music Fans? I'm a useful idiot, and uh, I've been on a little hiatus for a little while, but uh, more on that later. Um, I feel compelled to come out of my hole, at least to mark this occasion, and that is the passing of Lou Reed at the age of 71. And as uh, most of my regulars know, my first love is music, and uh, all the uh, other things that I discuss on my channel is just a uh, hobby of mine. And uh, the passing of Lou Reed is uh, something we definitely need to take note of, and it was certainly not unexpected. Uh, Lou Reed's health has been suffering from a while, for a while, and uh, we're seeing a lot of uh, musicians of this generation pass now. Um, that's just the nature of it. And uh, some of these people, uh, considering their backgrounds and uh, abuse of their bodies uh, over the years, well, it's remarkable that so many are, are still around in some respects. So uh, we have Lou Reed now passing, and uh, of course, most notable about Lou Reed um, for, for a lot of folks is he being the founder of the Velvet Underground from uh, roughly 1965 to 1972, 71, 70, 1970, uh, and produced four remarkable albums in their own time, and uh, while the Beatles were singing uh, Sgt. Pepper and Magical Mystery Tour in 1967, the Velvet Underground, Lou Reed were singing about uh, heroin trips and uh, meeting their drug dealers, and S&M and the darker side of life with a poetic vision quite comparable to uh, Bob Dylan, and, um, and they were also prone to uh, atonal spasms that went on for 20 minutes or more, you know, so they're created a lot of the archetypes and a lot of the blueprints for what's been known as a alternative rock uh, for decades since then, going on 50, 60 years now since the Velvet Underground invented most of its prototypes. And, uh, and then Lou Reed's solo career, of course, uh, launched. And uh, his uh, solo work is also uh, full of variety and a lot of dis different interesting personas, a lot of a lot of people are aware that David Bowie was chameleon-like. He created different personas to capture different uh, periods of uh, music that he was doing. And uh, Lou Reed was actually uh, doing the same thing, albeit uh, in a uh, New York uh, sort of way. And, uh, and it's interesting I should bring up David Bowie as well, because David Bowie essentially rescued Lou Reed's career at one point and uh, produced the mega-hit Walk on the Wild Side. David Bowie did that for a number of artists, including uh, Iggy Pop and Mata Hoople. So my like, kudos for him for championing true uh, true artists. And uh, so Lou Reed's career went on from then, and he has a, a huge body work and a great variety of work, and a uh, 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 wonderful songwriter throughout. And uh, he dictated to the whims of uh, no one, and so uh, was able to present his own personal vision all these years in uh, his um, in the state that he wished to present it. And, uh, so I guess that's all I want to say right now. Uh, I have to mark the passing of Lou Reed. And, um, I uh, seriously encourage anyone out there that hasn't investigated their work uh, to check it out. And one thing, of course, to bear in mind, the group like Velvet Underground is this context has a lot to do with it. The fact that uh, they um, set these standards so early in the game, serve so many rock artists since then, um, they uh, have to get credit for being one of the originators for uh, a lot of what people think of as rock and roll today. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.